Welcome, welcome Amazon business owners and soon to be Amazon business owners. This is Tim with All Go Online Retail. Got a fun topic today. Um, it's always fun to see how much profit you're going to make. So let's dive in uh, to the Amazon revenue calculator, crunch a little numbers, and we'll do a little twist on this as well. We'll see how much money we're gonna make and we'll also talk about how to use this tool to know your budget when you're calling suppliers, contacting suppliers uh, to purchase. So let's uh, share my screen and we'll dive right in, Sh show you a few things. So we're gonna go straight to the Amazon revenue calculator. All right, so if you've used this before, then you know where, where, I'm, where I'm at. If you haven't used this before, uh, it is the Amazon revenue calculator. If you have a seller account, just uh, search for Amazon revenue calculator and here it is. If you don't have a seller account, you can use it as a guest and most of the features will still work fine. Uh, okay, so here's what you do. If you have a product that you're interested in selling, let's just grab a few name brand products that are out there and uh, crunch the numbers. So you're interested in selling this product. Now I just randomly grabbed a few products. These are not products that I'm looking to sell. No one likes to talk about what they're selling, right? Uh, but anyway, so I just grabbed uh, some products that uh, we've all heard of. So here's a Kasori. Uh, we got an air fryer. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do in order to use the Amazon revenue calculator, you have to look up each product. So it, it calculates exactly, specifically for that product. So we got to look up each product. So you can search for it by name. The easiest way is by ASIN number. So here's our Kasori. Where do you find the ASIN number? A few different places, but one of the easiest is you just drag down here and boom, there it is. Now, as you can see, this is the 25th best selling product in kitchen and dining. So, a fantastic product. Okay, so we got our ASIN number. There it is, highlighted in blue. We go back to our Amazon revenue calculator and we copy that in. Okay, so now we have our product. We see right here, okay, it's the right product. Now I'm gonna go down and I'm actually gonna use the calculator. Uh, so let me just point out, the right column is what we're gonna do, that's FBA. That's what you need to do in order to improve your chances of winning the buy box. The left column is FBM, we're gonna do FBA. Okay, so what we need to type in is our item price. So what was that price? This Kasori is selling right now, the buy box price. $69.99. Okay, so we go back and we just type in $69.99. Now, sometimes people say it's not working. Every time you type something in, you gotta go down and click the calculate button. So we click calculate, and now you see it kind of uh, blew up on us and it's showing us all our details. Okay, so let's walk through what some of these fees are. So here's the first fee that we're being charged, $10.50, that's the selling on Amazon fee. That's normally 15%, 15% 15 of 6999 is 1050. Okay, FBA fee, that's the fee Amazon charges us to use their warehouses, their shipping. That depends on size, volume, and weight. So how much space is the product taking up in the warehouse? How much does it weigh? So this product's fairly heavy, fairly big, $17 is what it's gonna charge. Then they have a monthly uh, storage charge. They got a fee they're gonna charge you for having that product. When, so when you sell it, if you do it right, then you just pay that fee one time for the product being there. Okay, so here's our number that we need to find out. So you'll notice with how everything stands right now, we're gonna make $41.60, but we haven't put in a cost of product. So this is where you can kind of do this two ways. You get a list from suppliers, that I've already given you the pricing and you can figure out, okay, how much profit will I make? You just take the price from the supplier list, put it in right here. Or if you're doing this before you call the supplier, then you're figuring out what your budget is. So let's just say that you think you could probably afford $25, cost of product. Now when I say cost of product, I'm talking about shipped to Amazon, you've paid everything, there's no other fees. So cost of product, $25, we would make a profit of $16.60. So that's not too bad. $16.60, that's pretty good. It's saying it's a, it's a margin of 20, 23%. Uh, so that's, that's wonderful. If I was doing this, um, I would be willing to do that deal. 
Uh, so that's that's great. All right, let's let's do one more. Every tool we ever show always is uh, makes a little bit more sense the second time around. So let me pull up a second product. All right, here's a a Mueller hand blender. Go down the page, find our our uh, ASIN number. So there's our ASIN number. This is a great selling product as well. How much is it selling for? Thirty-four ninety-seven. Go back to our calculator. We put in the ASIN number. Hit search. Ah, and this will happen sometimes. So it wasn't quite sure which one you were looking for. So we see our picture here. We could pop back over to it if we want to. Okay, yep, that's the right one. And so there's our picture. Okay, what was our price? Thirty-four ninety-seven. We hit calculate, and without buying the product yet, we're making a profit of $24.21. But let's just go through this uh, uh, each step of the way again. So the selling on Amazon fee, the 15%, that's $5.25. The fulfillment by Amazon fee, so this is a much smaller product that weighs a lot less than the, the air fryer we just did, so a lot less money for the FBA fee. Monthly storage is only nine cents because the air fryer was 89 cents, it takes up a lot less space. And so our profit, 24.21 without buying the product. So let's say we, pay, we spend $15 to buy the product. That's a profit of $9 on each one. But what I care mo more about is, you know, what's your, what's your net margin? 26% is, is fantastic. Now you, you get the idea, if we could get these products shipped to the Amazon warehouse for 13 bucks, yeah, that's a 32%. Um, net margin. Okay, so you, you get what the calculator does. I would say on the on the difficulty range, this is on the easier side. Um, I am doing a live webinar. If you'd like to learn more about this, more about sales volume, more about BSR that I've mentioned, uh, once you pick a product, how do you win sales? How do you win the buy box? Uh, click down. There'll be a little link to click uh, to register for the webinar. So re get registered block off the time and be there. We got a lot to cover. Uh, this video is only a few minutes. Our webinar will be 60 to 90 minutes long and I will be live. Love live trainings, I will be live. But let me show you one more thing. What happens if we pick a product that weighs a lot or takes up a lot of space? Remember, they, Amazon charges their fees based on weight and space. So here's, here's a product that weighs a lot. So here's the dog food that my dog eats, right? So we got a 42 pound of Imes dog food. Let's go find our ASIN number down here. So there's our ASIN number. Let's go back to our calculator. By the way, you see this is the 537th best selling product. That's our BSR for uh, the pet food here. Okay, so here's our Imes dog food. $42 was the price. We hit calculate. And you'll notice, look at the FBA fee. For a $42 product, the FBA fee is $23.46. So things that weigh a lot and don't cost that much, you can't sell on Amazon. You can't make any money. Because look at this, we're only making eleven fifty dollars profit and we haven't bought the product, nor has our supplier shipped it to Amazon, which they're going to charge us a good amount of money to ship dog food that weighs a lot. So there's just no way to make money here. I bet we end up, we would end up buying this product for, and plus shipping 15 to $20. We'd be in the negative. But let me show you one more, one more that's even worse. So just a little, a little tip, when you're selling things that take up a lot of space and don't cost a lot, like paper towels or toilet paper, uh, there's a reason that Amazon is really the only one selling paper towels on Amazon, because you and I can't make any money selling paper towels. So this product, uh, how much did these paper towels cost? Bounty paper towels, a 12 pack, uh, $30.44. There's our Bounty 12 pack, $30.44. We hit the calculate button. <laughs> yeah, and look at that, $21.94 is the FBA fee. So we're almost in the negative. We're making $2.52 profit and we haven't bought the paper towels or had our supplier ship them to Amazon. So we're gonna be in, we're gonna be negative $15 on this product. Okay, so when you see products like that, 
And sometimes if you see a product like this and you know it's bulky and it doesn't weigh a lot, it doesn't cost a lot or, or weighs a lot, costs a lot of money. And then you see that Amazon is the only one selling that product. Well, then, you know, you and I just can't make any money. Amazon's selling that product because Amazon wants to sell every product on Amazon. They want paper towels. They want dog food. They don't want, they don't want anyone to go to Walmart. Sorry, I said the W word. That's against the rules on Amazon. But okay, hopefully you've enjoyed this little uh, uh, couple tricks, little uh, knowledge, how to use the Amazon revenue calculator, um, some tricks about products that just don't work, how to use this calculator before or after calling a supplier to see what your profit or your budget is. Hope you've enjoyed it. Again, click on the link, get registered, watch some other YouTube videos. Uh, thank you for your time.